Hey guys, Metal Driver here bringing you another WWE Elite Review. Today, I'll be looking at the WWE Legends Series 7 Razor Ramon. Looking at the sides of the box, you see an image of Razor Ramon on both sides. The back of the box features an image of Razor Ramon, titles, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Titles include Intercontinental Champion. The description states, Say hello to the bad guy. Dripping with class and oozing machismo, Razor Ramon dominated opponents in the 1990s. His rivalry with Shawn Michaels is the stuff of legends, especially their two latter matches at WrestleMania 10 and SummerSlam 1995. He proved that hard work pays off, dreams come true, bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Alright, now that we have looked at the box, let's go ahead and open this figure up and take a closer look at Razor Ramon. And here is Razor Ramon out of the packaging, but first, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So he comes with a pair of interchangeable hands, which are open hands, so you can use those to pose Razor Ramon when he's doing his walking pose or taunt. Now it is worth mentioning that originally in the promo photos, he was supposed to come with a pair of thumbs up hands so that he can do his pose where he's pointing at himself with his thumbs. Unfortunately, those hands were omitted. Then he also comes with entrance gear, so he has this entrance vest, so it's nice and colorful. On the front, we've got a lot of blues, some reds, some gold lining. Paint came out pretty well for the most part, so it looks pretty good. And then on the back, it's black and it's got bad guy written on it. The lettering came out really well. Paint looks good on the letters of the bad guy. So overall, the vest looks good. And then the other piece of entrance accessory that he has is his gold chain. So mine came on top of the hair. So I have seen reports that some Razor Ramon figures had the chain on top, whereas others had them underneath like how I have them here. I wanted to mention that because, if you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some gold paint on the hair here, and a little bit there. So it looks like that was residue from the chain. So it's just a little warning that if you do have one where the chain is on top, you might see a little bit of that residue. Alright, then looking at the head sculpt. So we have seen this head sculpt before. This time though, it does look a little bit more detailed with the digital TrueFX printing. So the beard came out really well on mine. The eyes look pretty good. The eyebrows, I see that there's a little bit of missing paint on this eyebrow. Then there is a little bit of extra black paint on the side of the head, so I did have to scratch that off. It was a little bit uh, more noticeable before. Then look at the rest of the hair. Looks pretty good. It's just solid black plastic. So no shading there. So overall head looks pretty decent. Again, we've seen it before. Looks better with the new TrueFX printing. Just mine has a little bit of sloppiness. And look at the arms. He's got his elbow pad, so he's got a just a standard black elbow pad here. Then on the left arm, he's got a blue elbow pad with some razors on the back of the pad. And that's painted pretty well for the most part, so that looks good. And the vest does come off, so I'm going to go ahead and take that off so we can look at the body. All right, then looking at the torso. So he's got a lot of paint on his chest and his abdomen, so his chest hair, his body hair. So that's done pretty well. Looks good. He's nice and hairy. Then looking at his trunks, you've got razor in the front. And unfortunately, mine has some QC issue with the paint. You can see right there, right at the bottom of the Z, there's some missing paint, both on the yellow and the red. So that's a bit annoying. The rest of the lettering looks pretty good. And then on the back, you've got his razors. This is painted pretty well for the most part. Looks pretty good. Looks like they did this with maybe just one coat of paint. So you can see a little bit of the blue is coming through the yellow. Then look at the lower body. So he's got big blue knee pads with razors here. So it looks pretty decent for the most part. Paint looks clean, as far as I can tell. The only thing that I notice is that it looks like they only used one coat of paint on the yellow. And this one, it's more noticeable than the other knee pad. So you can see that this yellow has got some blue seeping through, whereas this one, not as much. But then his boots are just plain blue boots. Got some black on the laces. And this boot's got some missing blue paint on the toes. So you can see a little bit of white there. Hopefully that can be scratched off. So overall, a decent looking figure. Unfortunately, mine has some QC issues with the paint, so that's a bit unfortunate. Then going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so it doesn't look too far up due to the back of the hair. Can look slightly down. His head can twist side to side, and it can tilt. Shoulders have a hinge, so it allows it to go that far up. It can rotate all the way around. There's a bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow, which gives us just about 90 degrees, so the elbow pad doesn't really hinder the articulation. The wrist can swivel, and it has a hinge. He has an ab crunch that allows him to go that far down and that far back. He has a waist swivel, ball joint at the hips, which allow the legs to go really far out. 
and he can go that high up so that's a good range of motion he has a cut at the thigh double jointed knees which unfortunately is hindered by the knee pads so you can bend it this far back but it'll just end up going into a 90 degree angle on its own he has a cut at the boot there's a hinge at the ankle which allows it to go that high up that far down and he does have some decent ankle pivot and here is the new Razor Ramon figure next to the Flashback series Razor Ramon figure. Then here he is next to two NWO Scott Hall figures. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the WWE Legends Razor Ramon figure? Well, I'm a bit disappointed with the one that I have because I have some QC issues with the paint. So it does leave me feeling a bit disappointed, at least with the one that I have. So these are typical issues that you can run into, especially with mass-produced figures. So unfortunately, I just have a bad one. However, I don't think this is an issue that's going to be seen throughout all the Razor Ramon figures. And so if I'm just judging it based on the figure alone. I think this is a good Razor Ramon figure. I am happy to have it in my collection because I missed out on the Defining Moments one, so I'm glad to have this version. So if you're a Razor Ramon fan, I think you should definitely pick this up. I think what I might end up doing is probably going out and looking for another one because when I bought this one, it was the only one left, so hopefully I'll be able to find another one with better paint apps. So if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so you can see more WWE Elite reviews. As always, stay tuned till the end to see pictures of this figure in action. And I'll see you next time.